Hi guys, welcome back. It's The Pretty Wolf. If you are new here, my name is Joji or you can call me The Pretty Wolf on my channel. Also, I mostly do makeup, makeup tutorials, and makeup reviews. So if you want to see more of my videos, make sure that you are subscribed on my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I have a new video. And today, I am going to review another makeup launch from NARS Cosmetics. So I do have their Air Matte Lip Color. So we're going to review three shades today and also have the air matte blush and I have one shade which is the gas so if you want to see all the swatches and the demos and the color of course just keep on watching all right so I have three shades from the air matte lip color so I have the total domination Thrust and Power Trip, and these are 7.5 ml and it retails for $37 Canadian. So I am curious to try this because it's supposed to be very lightweight on the lips and it has a kind of diffuse blurry effect on the lips. So I'm curious about this. And for the blush, I have the shade Gusp. And I cannot wait to try this one as well because it's such a really pretty color. So if you want to see all of it, I think it's time to open the box and try them on. Packaging is so cute, cute, cute. I don't know. I just really love how the colors are looking and then you can see outside already. These ones here, I pick up these three shades. Again, very similar, but I have this one in the middle, which is I'm excited. And then for the blush, this is the packaging as well. So it is more of a moussey, airy, cream blush. And this is how it looks like. It's in a pot. So, we'll go ahead and swatch the lip color first. The applicator is very cute and not so long. So, we'll swatch. This one is the thrust. Okay, perfect. And we're going to go ahead and swatch the shade Total Domination. Ooh, this color is so pretty. And I think this is such a good color to wear if you were to just give a little bit of tint on your lips. You can apply it like thin, I guess. So that is the total domination. And next will be the power trip. Power trip is also very, very pretty. It has that berry undertone. There you go. So, so pretty. And then I'm also going to swatch the gas. This is the gas shade guys i think this is kind of really awesome when you want it to look like a little bit burnt in the summer i would love to use this in the summer that's why i got them as well the texture of this blush is very moosey very airy very lightweight and it's almost like a it has a powdery effect and that is the blush over there like right here Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the lipstick first as a demo. So this is the Total Domination. So I'm going to put this full on because I think this is the brightest color of the one that I'm reviewing today. So I want you guys to see the color. It's very, very pigmented. The moment I swipe it on my lips, you see the color, which is I love. So that's how I get when I try to smudge my lips and then I'm going to add more. Alright guys, so that is the Total Domination shade. It's definitely have that feeling of kind of moussey and airy texture to it and it's not heavy on the lips. So I quite build up the color so that you guys can see. But like I said earlier, you can always make it like almost like a tint on your lips, which is I'm going to do on my next um, shade. So yeah, I love the color. It's a very typical red with a peachy undertone, which is, it's not bad, but it's also not really great you know what i mean it's just in the middle i think that nars always go on the safe side so for this shade i'm not very impressed with the shade because i have so much of this i just really wanted to see and and you know feel the texture and how pigmented it is all right so i just finished cleaning up my lips now let's go ahead and demo the power trip 
kind of excited to try this one. I'm going to try a very, um, it's more like a smudge uh, Korean style of application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus right in the middle. Okay, so this is the power trip and I did apply it a little bit different. Like I said, I did a little bit more of a Korean style application of lipstick, which is it focused more in the middle and kind of like lighter um, going outward your lips. So I really like it. This one is a really nice shade for that purpose if you want more of that Korean style. But then I am going to show you how the color looks like when I try to um, make it full. Okay, so we'll apply it full on. Alright guys, that is the Power Trip. It's definitely darker than the first uh, shade that I applied. Um, but I do love the shades a little bit more than the first one. The reason why is it has that very, um, kind of like a berry undertone, which is really, really good and it suits the kind of my skin tone, but it would also suits to like darker skin tone. And you see I have applied it like less first and then this is the full on application. You can really feel that very lightweight. When you apply it, you almost feel like you're not applying anything, which is weird, but it's so good. So I do love this shade. It's 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 a good one. So let's go ahead and jump into the next shade, which is the Thrust. This one is the most popular shade of, of this collection, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so lip is clean. Now let's go ahead and apply this. I'm I'm excited. So that is the first dip and I still have a lot more in the wand. I really like it if you want more of a kind of natural. This is the closest color to my lips. It has a little bit of brown brick. So I like it but I'm gonna go um, apply it full on. Okay, so it is really pretty and these are my type of shades. This is so, so good. And I do love, I swear guys, I keep telling you, but I really love the finish and the texture of this um, formula. It's so, so lightweight on the lips and I really like the shade of this one as well. So I think for every day, if you want more nude with a little bit of like darkness, this is just a perfect amount of dark in there. It's not too light. It's not so dark. Now let's go ahead and apply the blush. So this is the shade Gasp. Again, I'm going to pick up a little bit and apply it at the back of my hand. And then I'm going to pick it up with my finger. So let's try a little bit just like that first. So you see, and then apply it. You see the color guys, um, I just put a tiny bit so far, I'm just going to add a little bit more and a little bit more. Alright, so that is the shade Gasp. Um, if you have noticed, I already have something forming in there and it's very, very diffuse, very natural. I will going to build up so that you guys can see the actual color. So I'm going to put this much and just dub it in. There you go guys. This is definitely showing some color now and I really like the look on my skin. I would say this is a perfect blush blush uh, texture if you're going for a natural look with a not a lot of foundation on which is perfect for my makeup right now. Maybe with a full coverage foundation, I'm not sure but I think right now it's really perfect when you have less foundation, less makeup, very natural. So I'm just going to finish the other side of my cheek and we'll let you know my, my thoughts of all this collection.
Alrighty guys, so I have finished all the product that I wanted to show you guys today. So these are my final thoughts about this collection and the color shade. So, so far, um, a lot of brands are coming out with kind of like a moussey, airy um, finish lately. And of course, NARS has to do it as well because everybody's doing it. For the blush, I'm impressed of how it applies on the skin. I wasn't expecting it at all that it would look like this even in the packaging it looks like it's too dark but once you blend it on your skin it actually goes really natural and applies really really lightweight and thin and then for the lipstick like i said earlier i really like the packaging of this lipstick because it's so cute and you can already see the color from outside so it's not like you're digging up all your lipstick and you can't find the right color that you want so this is very very clever and i also like that the packaging it's not so big and it's not like a lot of uh, lipstick packaging it's a little bit too big for my purse i really like this because it's so cute this lipstick is a limited edition so if you want to get some of the shades make sure that you get get it when you can because it's a limited edition and this one i believe it has a four permanent and for limited edition as well so for this lipstick my favorite is actually the thrust I really really love the color on this uh, to my lips and I really love this one as well if I want more of a natural kind of like a Korean style of lipstick and this is my least favorite because I have a lot of colors um, for this one overall collection is good and the price is very reasonable so the lipstick is only $37 and this one is $39 Canadian so I'm very very happy that I get to get them and I will enjoy them for the rest of the summer because these are kind of like a spring summer color especially this this one right here and the blush so thank you so much I hope you enjoyed this video if you are curious to know more colors they're available on the website and you can always look at them and visit in the store so thank you so much guys for watching and I hope this helps you to figure out what you want and if you're looking forward to see this color and I hope I review one of the color that you like so yes please give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload my next video thank you guys I will see you next time bye